Hey everybody. Blessings, blessings to all of you. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're going to give people a little, little time to get on. I pray that everybody's having a happy Thursday. Hallelujah. We have, although busy, Amen. busy but good. Oh, yeah. And productive. So we thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we get started, I just want to say I, I thank God for all of you that have joined in. For those that have even watched the um, videos um, after the taping and um, even made comments and sent messages and stuff, we thank God for you. And we pray, we just pray that this will help somebody and um, the young married couples or who, whomever, you know, we just pray that. That is is helping. That is doing some good. So we thank God for that. We're just gonna give it a few more minutes. We got people that are gonna come. On, they're gonna come on the conference call. Some is gonna watch live Facebook, and we're also taping as well to YouTube. So we thank God for all of you. We thank God. This is very important in this day and time, and especially in the in the midst of the confinement. Um, we are seeing a lot that's taking places with marriages, and and we just want to be a help as much as we can be. And I just think if we all just do our little part. You said something right there that uh, people probably <clears throat> have not took into consideration since we are shed in. We were with our wives more. Mm -hmm. You were with your spouse more, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah, and that, that's very important to, to know that while you're there, you just enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, God, you that we, we everybody was trying to work here, work there, work here, work there. So He gave us, given us an opportunity now to. That we can have family together again. But a lot of people still don't get it because I think they're trying to make things happen and trying to hurry up and rush out of this. But God is being glorified in the midst of this. I truly do believe oh, yes, because yes, there yes. are some things and there there's yet some things that he wants to get to us and do for us. But a lot of people have been saying, you know, and um that 2020 need to be gone. Well, I don't want 2020 to be gone because there's some things I've been promised for 2020 <laughs> that I have not, that that we have not received oh, yeah. yet. And as individuals that we have not gotten done or, or you know, received yet. So we're, we're in great expectation. I don't care what nobody else say. We are in great expectation. So we're going to get started, guys. We're going to get started. Thank you guys for joining in. But first we want to pray. Honey, if you don't mind. Oh, yes. Father God, we come now once again telling you thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For being so good to us, better to us than we've been to ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, thank you for our families. Uh, thank you for our husbands and our wives right now, yes, Father. Lord. We ask yes, your God Lord. to draw us closer together, Father, that we will be as you were with your churches, Father. We yes, thank you now, God. God. We praise you. We honor you, God. And give us a word to tell them tonight, Father. Yes, Lord. That will be super for you, God. Yes. And Father God, we praise you in advance. In Jesus' name, in Jesus amen. Name. Amen. 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 So, guys, there's a couple of things that we want to uh, talk about tonight, and I just kind of made a little, uh, I just made a little list of things. But the first thing we want to talk about every week so far, this is our third week, I think it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have two more weeks to go throughout the month of August, and and I get more excited. I get more excited. Um. Because I, I find out that it's, it's really helping people. And so I thank God for that. Even people that are even thinking about getting married or that may be engaged, it's helping them. So we thank God for that. But um, what we want to talk about tonight uh, tell them, tell them. is Proverbs uh -oh. 21 <laughs> and 9. Hallelujah. 
Proverbs 21 and 9 is what we're going to talk about tonight. It, it's just so amazing. This scripture, you know, uh, there was a time when I read this right here and I got kind of heated under the collar, <laughs> you know. But um, let's just talk about that for a minute. It's, I want I want you to think about this. I want you to visualize you are in a three-story mansion. You're in a three-story mansion. You got what? Eight, nine baths, mm -hmm. uh, two, three kitchens. But I want you to think, I want you to put a mansion in your visual. Put a mansion in your visual and everybody would love to have a mansion. Everybody would lo love mm -hmm. to have the 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 house, the home with the little picket picketed uh fence, right. you know, mm -hmm. around. But many times, honey, I think people forget what's most important. It's not how big the house is. Mm -hmm. You can put a lot of money in a home, mm -hmm. but what makes the home is what's on the inside. Oh yes, yes. And so this scripture. And, and and ladies, I look, look, now, listen. I need y'all to hear me tonight. Well, well, let them go get the Bible for yeah, you. Yeah, go get it. your Bible. Because <laughs> they might say your Bible read different from theirs. Well, but, mine do read a little bit different because one of my favorite Bibles is um it's the Christian Standard Bible, and it's by uh, Dr. Tony Evans. It's the study Bible. Um I got this Bible and we also have the um the uh the uh the uh, the quest. The quest. Yes. We oh, when I say we got a lot of swords, we got a lot of swords. But this is by far one of my favorite Bibles. The quest used to be my favorite, but here's the scripture, women. Go to Proverbs twenty one and nine, and to talk to my black women, because I know as a black woman myself. We got tude, and what I mean by that, we got attitude. We got attitude. We got the the moving of the hands and the the shaking of the head and the body, and and you just let me tell you this, and and so I even want some men's, to, uh, honey, and and I, I want you to share, but I want some men's to kind of talk, um, because I come across some. I, I come across some women in all ethnic groups, and some of them have a nasty mouth. I'm mm. telling you, some women have a nasty um, a mouth. And, and women, I want to share with you that that is so ugly. That is so not ladylike. And, and my granddaughters, whenever they're around me, you know, um, when, when, I'm, when I'm on the sporty side, I can be kind of a, you know, uh, uh, Sports go getter. I have my tennis <laughs> shoes and everything on because I was um, I was a, a sports fanatic when I was growing up. But I also didn't want to lose my feminine side. So that's one thing I try to teach my granddaughters. I try to, and you've heard me at the house sometimes mm -hmm. telling, no, 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 put your legs down, sit like a lady. And I believe we've gotten away from that, and that's something that we need to get at. So. I want to get to this part about better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a house with a nagging woman. My mama. <laughs> let's, let's break that down in little parts. Better to live on the corner. Now, mind it. Oh, my God. Now, mind it. Come on. Break it down. <laughs> what you're looking at, you're not looking at a flat roof. You're looking at a corner of a roof. Now, I, I gave the picture of the mansion. They already yeah, got the yeah. visual of the mansion. Now, now mansions and their have, imagination. have different pictures on uh -huh. the top. Mm -hmm. So you can't find a flat spot to sit on. <laughs> so Jesus. It, it, it's best for you to find you a little corner that you got the whole tight to to keep from falling off it. You understand what I'm I hear you. you I got, do. You, you got to find that corner and you got to get up on it. Mm-hmm. And, and hold it, on. It's it best, it best for you to do that. <laughs> Honey, hold oh on, because he ain't going in that house. <laughs> <laughs> it, it he ain't going in that house, that woman. <laughs> it's best for you to do that, because <laughs> that 
Parson woman mm -hmm. will make you sin. And, and, and what they'll make them do, honey? Uh, and everything. Lay hands on them. Pray for them. No, I you ain't got no business men no, laying no, hands no, on the women. Stay in that pray, corner. Stay pray, on up there. Stay in that corner. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray <laughs> Come for on. Them. Uh -huh. While you're on that corner, pray for the Lord. Uh -huh. make, make a shed of mouth. Mm -hmm. But now, be, be pacific now, because if you're a true child of God, you have to ask the Lord to shed a mouth. She might not even have to be <laughs> over again. <laughs> You do have to be careful, so you, but some versions say with a quarrelsome woman, and pretty much that's that's the same thing. Yeah. But some of y'all may have the wording with a quarrelsome woman, with mm. a quarrelsome wife. Yeah. That's what it said. But what kind of rubbed me wrong was they don't say nothing about the man. Because, they don't say nothing about the man. Men don't quarrel like women. Some men do. They 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 uh -oh. do. Yes, they do. Some men. Uh, uh, it, when when you find a man that loves to argue, you got a problem. <laughs> Critical know, about know. everything, just fussing yeah. about everything. That that's that's a problem. Uh, let's be real about it, <laughs> men. You have an opp opportunity to quiet that lady's mouth. Tell them what to do, honey. Instead of you trying to out talk her, you listen to her because after a while she goes, there, "I'm just steady talking to you, and you won't say a word." That's the way to beat it. Then you won't have to get on the rooftop. But if you don't do that, you got to get up on the rooftop. You got a choice. Be quiet or go outside and get on the rooftop. Hey, Jesus. So, so the thing is, and women, look, I'm, I'm trying my best to help y'all now because I'm one. Now. I can't kick it to the curb. I'm one. So now, in order for a man to, to, to it says better. Mm-hmm. To live on the corner of a roof. Uh -huh. So in other words, women, it's got to get really bad. It's got to get really bad. You have got, oh, Lord, gee, how bad is getting? How, it has got to be bad for that man to want to leave. I gave you the visual. To leave this big mansion, to be, leave this big, nice, everything you ever wanted in a home, you got it. Mm -hmm. But the, this is saying that he would rather live on a corner of a roof. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So, so other way, <clears throat> what, what, what you got to look at here now is that uh, that shoe fits on another foot, too. You got men so quarrelsome in the house mm -hmm. that the women would rather live on the corner of the rooftop. Mm -hmm. But but it don't say that. I didn't find that nowhere. I That's why it kind of made me feel some kind of way now. <laughs> I know it didn't say that, but you got you you got two different sex here. You got a female and a male. Uh huh. Uh, now it's fair for one is just the other. Mm -hmm. If 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 he have to go out and live on the top of the roof because you quarrelsome, then likewise she have to go out there and live because he quarrelsome. Mm -hmm. So it, it behooves me and you. Mm -hmm. Male and female, that's what I'm talking about, why I said mm -hmm, me and you, mm -hmm. is to, to just be quiet and listen at each other because there are some things that could be said that could be beneficial to each one of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it, you can't get what the, the beneficial thing when you're running your mouth because mm -hmm. you can't hear and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. and, and as far as profanity and... All of that, you know, each to its own. But, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I've never been a fan of that. And as a matter of fact, in my younger years, I even tried. And my family would laugh at me. My sisters would laugh at me. And they would tell me, you just need to hush, you know. And But I, I don't like that. And uh, to hear a woman, men, men are looking at us for us to be ladylike, okay? Right, they right. looking at us to be ladylike, you know, and feminine, and 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 um, I heard a man say before there was a young lady that he liked, and he said the only thing he could not stand about her, he said she got a good heart, she a good person. He said, but she trying to be too hard like a male, you know. He said she's trying to uh, prove a point, you know. Um, they riding around in the vehicles that most guys ride in. And some stuff I didn't agree with him on. But I love to listen 
to me and for men to tell me concerning um, what they're looking for in a wife, you know, and, 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 and that type of thing. And many times, you know, what I think many times what women think men are looking for in a wife is the total opposite. I believe it's the could total be, opposite be, because be. it's not a, it, and, and, and let me tell you something. Looks are all good. That That's fine and good. Yes, you want beauty. Yes, you want a queen. But what about the heart? What about the inside? You know, um, are, is she going to be the one that you can take home to sit at the table with your mother and your father that can hold a, a, an adult conversation? You know, because going back to what the young man said, he said too many times women are, are trying, you know, the, 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 the rapping the music with the hands up in the air. They're smoking the whatever the things is. Uh, look like a cigar or whatever. <laughs> but um, that's what he said. And, and that was his own opinion. Don't get me wrong, y'all. You know, but I just like every now and then to talk to guys and, and ask them, you know, if you were look, really looking for a wife, what are some things that you're looking for in your wife? Because I can tell you something, women. Sex ain't the first thing. I'm, I'm just keeping it real. And and um, I believe that for so long, women have been, been I, I guess, they put their, their body mm -hmm. out there, you know. And, and there is so much more to just having a, your, your, your nice figure. There's so much more to, um, you know, having a nice job. It's so much more because at the end of the day, when you get home, you ain't got no sense. You, 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 I mean, this is what women, I'm just going to keep it real. This is what many times, and that's why, thank you, Holy Ghost, for bringing this back to me. That's why many times you see a guy marry a woman that many women would think, oh, she don't fit him. But you're looking at what she's looking like. You're looking at the outer appearance when he's looking at the heart and he sought the Lord for what he wanted in a wife. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And so therefore, um, I'm going back to this scripture. I'm going back to this scripture. Honey, I want you to tell the people and you tell me, tell me the truth. Am I a quarrelsome wife? Ooh. Let's just keep it real. Am I a quarrelsome hey. wife? No. But and I'm not going to be. Even, even if you were, listen, even if you were, I married you, and I told the preacher, I will be with you till death do us part. Mm -hmm. I would not go on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. Because the reason I wouldn't go up there, I would send you up there. Anyway. Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you wrong. <laughs> you wrong for that. Uh, yeah. Y'all heard him, didn't you? Y'all anyway, heard him. And, and Trust me, I don't even answer the door, honey. He go, he answers the door. <laughs> and, and, but, 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 uh, in reality, when when you look at what a man looking for in a lady, mm -hmm. a man looking for someone that he can enjoy, mm -hmm. and not on the sex now. That's mm -hmm. not that's not it. Now. Mm -hmm. He can enjoy someone that he can carry out mm -hmm. and don't have to worry about somebody uh, uh, don't act up like a fool and all these kind of things. Because the waitress got the order right, wrong. Right, Lord, right, have right. mercy. Yeah, you know, Come on now. He's not now. looking for nothing like that. He's looking for somebody that would be respectful of him. Mm -hmm. Even if the, the order is wrong and, yes. and, and she wants to say something mm -hmm. and she starts saying something, he, he tells baby that cool line, and she's willing to stop, you know. These are the kind of women that men want. Yes. Men don't want nobody that is louder than they are. They don't want nobody that's doing the same thing they're doing because you know, women are not to do the same thing men are doing. No way. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're, you're very feminine. And, 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 and when, you, when you act like a lady, you are a lady. Mm -hmm. You can't change that. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you can't say, well, I can act any way I want to act. <clears throat> no, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Right. You're supposed to act like a lady. Carry yourself. Carry yourself in yes. a way that somebody out there can say, well, that's a beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a nice lady right there. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, people don't do that. People don't care what people say about them. Mm -hmm. I, I understand I understand how you feel when you say that. I understand how you feel. They're going to talk about you anyway. True. But they could be saying good things instead of bad things. Right, right. And, 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 and if your child, are a true child of God, you don't want no, no scars on you. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you'll be surprised how many women, and men too, 
get scars on them by doing the things out in public that they're not supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. But get back to the house. The rooftop is the highest part of the house. <laughs> okay? Somebody, I knew you were going back there. <clears throat> now, if he's on the highest part of the house, mm -hmm. he can see down on the lower part, but he can't see in the house. Ooh. Okay? Now, if he's the man of the house, wow. why, why he cannot see in the house? Wow. He cannot, he cannot be the man of the house. Oh, my goodness. On top of the house. Oh, wow. You got me? Somebody said, that's good, Dr. <laughs> Franklin. That, that was, that's good, honey. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so what, what we got to do, men, I'm talking to y'all now, talking mm. to us. We got to understand that we are the head of the house. Mm -hmm. And that we are the head of the house. Let's act like the head. Yes. No, don't be dominion now. Act like the head Dominant. of the house. Exactly. Okay. Yes. I mean, because if you if you scorn your your your, your wife or your your, your your the lady scorn the man, then that is a friction right there. Mm -hmm. And when the friction start rubbing together, they're like flint. Mm -hmm. the, the more you rub flint together, the bigger the spark get. Oh, you did. That's so true. And then after a while, you're gonna have a blaze. Then somebody gotta go. And he got to go to the back the room. <laughs> he got to run back to the room. <laughs> so the thing is, a man shouldn't break a woman's spirit. And that's why men just so very important for you to listen to your wife. Listen to her. And, and sometime, sometime, listen to me good. Sometime you have to even pay attention to the silence as well. Because one thing about a woman that I've learned, when a woman stopped talking, oh, there is trouble. And it doesn't mean that she's about to do anything, but when a woman start stops talking and when she uh, get quiet, oh, you got a problem. And now you want to try to start a back talk. And that's the same thing with a man. You don't ever want to break him down. And so in other words, in breaking her spirit and breaking him down, mm -hmm. we're both supposed to build each other up. And my name is Ramona. His name is Ernest, but we both got the last name. And many people know that we are married. Right. We, we, you know, it's just like um, some people may say, that's, that's Mr. Franklin's wife. And some people may say, you married to Mr. Franklin. Or may say, uh, you miss Ramona's husband. So people watch you more than you think they do. They are watching, and many times the main ones that are watching are the ones that's waiting on you to fail in every area mm -hmm. of your life, in your marriage, in, in your household, with your family. And it's sad to say, but we just got to keep it real because it's the truth. And many times there are some of those people right in our circle, and, and, and you just don't know sometimes who's envious of you. That's and true. so married couples, let me tell you something. You talk to each other before you talk to anybody else. Third party shouldn't be nobody. Well, God first. And you become one with him. Both of you become one with him. But if there's a third party, make that be your pastor, your leader. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't even tell friends, family, what's going on in your marriage because you will be done fix the problem mm -hmm. and family and friends are still mad at well, one or the it. other yeah. because you now you don't win and share that. And then nine times out of 10, I often tell people I had a conversation with somebody just yet yeah, last night, I believe it was. And you may have heard me on the phone. And what I was, I, what my, here's, here's the way I am. Y'all I'm telling you, Lord knows I try to keep peace between people and I may hear what this one say, and I may hear what this one say, but somewhere along the way, I want everybody to come together. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to come together so we can hear every side. And so, therefore, because there are many sides to a, a problem a lot of time, but when we come together, the Bible said, come let us reason together. And many people don't want to do that. So, married couples, let me tell you something. Stop fighting against each other. There's a real enemy coming against you, and you need to pay attention to that real enemy and find out 
what it is and why this same thing keep coming up against you guys. Because that's what we said, the reoccurring arguments, the, the reoccurring this and the reoccurring that. Sit down with each other and say, look, babe, let, look, some, something wrong here. Something mm -hmm, wrong mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. We need to find out. We need to get to the core of what the problem is, you know. And so that helps a lot. But but in everything, listen to me. Be willing to forgive, y'all. Yeah, Be amen. willing to forgive before mm -hmm. you go to bed at night. Be willing to forgive, whatever. And and a lot of time, and even with us as pastors, y'all listen. Uh, a per any time that a person think correction is an attack on them, something is wrong. And and you may have heard me say that before. And that's the same thing with marriage. My daddy and my mom raised me, and my grandparents did too. Okay. So I'm a grown woman. My, my husband, his parents raised him. He's a grown man. Nobody in the marriage should be bossing another, the other, the, the mate. Nobody. The husband is the head. And let me, let me just say for my husband, and y'all hear me say it many, many times, and, and it's no thing, new beginning, nor my husband makes being married easy. I'm telling you, Lord God, our marriage is pretty much effortless, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because we don't, I'm telling you, I thank God he's not hard to please. And me, I don't require a lot. But women, some of y'all, <laughs> you, you're high maintenance. Now, and, and likewise, some of the men's are high maintenance too. They got to have this pair of shoes. They got to have that. They got to, but women are a lot, they require a lot more maintenance than men's do because the hair, the nails and all of this and that and stuff, the shoes, the bag. I used to be that woman, but let me tell you something, honey. When I started looking at all of God's money up in my closet, that didn't make no kind of sense. It didn't make no kind of sense at all. It didn't make no kind of sense. Just because you can buy.